a very good morning children in the last class i did your english to grammar lesson adjectives and we shall continue the lesson in today's class okay so recap so we studied in the last class what is an adjective types of adjectives kinds of adjectives so i explained what is an adjective so an adjective is a word which describes a noun or a pronoun and types of adjectives i said there are three types of adjectives which are your positive degree comparative degree and superlative degree uh, which i didn't explain i'm going to explain in today's class and i we also discussed about kinds of adjectives there are actually six kinds of adjectives children adjective of quality adjective of quantity adjective of number yes so i explained adjective of quality it refers to the kind degree or quality of something uh, adjectives of number they express an exact number adjective of number are the adjectives that are used to depict either the number of nouns or the position or place in certain order yes an adjective of quantity as in how much a thing is intended okay so we saw these three in the last class so in today's class let's discuss the other three which is your possessive adjective demonstrative adjective and interrogative adjective yes children well children possessive adjective so if you see i have displayed the slide for you so what is a possessive adjective a possessive adjective sits before a noun or a pronoun to show who or what owns it okay sits before and then it is before a noun or a pronoun okay so words like what kind of a words that we use in possessive adjectives words like my your his her its our their and whose basically showing the ownership is called your possessive adjective if you see examples she likes your hat the hat belongs to you and she likes your hat our bird is noisy whose bird our bird they have a car who have a car they have a car so basically possessive adjective is nothing but showing ownership okay and it is used before a noun or a pronoun to show who owns it or whose it is yes the next one demonstrative adjective what is a demonstrative adjective adjective that points to or indicate a noun is called a demonstrative adjective so basically you're pointing out at something and telling what is it okay so adjective that point to or indicate a noun is called a demonstrative adjective here you use words like this that these and those etc look at the examples children this house is old but solid you're pointing out at something and telling you're pointing out at a house and telling this house is old but solid that car is expensive again you're pointing out at that particular car and telling it was expensive these clothes are wet can you eat all of those cakes so you are basically pointing out at something and uh, telling it okay adjective that point to or indicate a noun is called a demonstrative adjective i hope you understand well the next one is interrogative adjectives so what is interrogative interrogative we very well know it is to ask questions so interrogating interrogative adjectives is nothing but which is used to ask questions about nouns so there are four interrogative adjectives so which are they where what which and whose so if you look at the examples where are my shoes what movie do you want to see which hot sauce is your favorite whose car is this so you're asking a question about the noun 
So you see shoes is a noun. Yes, where is my shoes? And there are four interrogative adjectives which are your words like where, what, which and whose. Yes, children. Okay, so if you see there are six kinds of adjectives. Uh, adjective of quality, adjective of quantity, adjective of number which we discussed in the last class. And in today's class, I have explained you demonstrative adjective, possessive adjective and interrogative adjective. Well, children, the next topic that we are going to discuss is types of adjectives. It is also called as forms or types of adjectives. If you see, I have displayed the slide for you. Most adjectives have three different forms. Okay. So, adjectives are three different forms. So, the first one, like I told you, there are three uh, types. Positive, comparative, superlative. Positive is the simple form of the adjective. Here, we give a simple description of a uh, noun. So, it can be uh, words like happy, pretty, heavy, etc. Okay. Comparative degree is used when we compare two things. So, we are comparing between two things. Here, we use the word than. Yes, than is used with a comparative degree. So, we say, uh, I'll, I'll tell you, uh, if it is a positive degree, let's take this as an example, Raju. Raju is a good boy. So, simple description about Raju. We are describing Raju to say he is a good boy. Uh, if you are comparing it, you are going to compare between two things. So, we say here, Raju is better than Ramu. So, Dan, the word Dan is used. Okay. And superlative degree is used when we compare more than two things. And the always comes before the superlative degree. So, here again, uh, Raju is a good boy, which is a simple description. Good boy is a positive degree. Raju is better than Ramu. Comparing between Raju and Ramu. So, Ram, Raju is better than Ramu. You use the word the. Again, Raju is the best. So, there is no comparison beyond that. You are comparing more than two and there is no comparison, comparison beyond that. So, the word the always comes before the superlative degree children. Okay. So, I repeat. Types of adjectives, mostly there are three types of adjectives, positive, comparative, superlative. Positive is the simple description, whereas a comparative degree, you are comparing between two things. And superlative degree, it is comparing more than two things and the always uh, comes before a superlative degree. So, look at the slide here, positive degree. Simple form of the adjective, example, happy, pretty, heavy, etc. Whereas comparative degree is used when we compare two things. Than is used with a comparative degree. Example, happy has become happier, pretty has become prettier, heavy has become heavier. Whereas a superlative degree, it is used when we compare more than two things. The always comes before the superlative degree. So happier has become happiest, prettier has become prettiest, heavier has become heaviest. Got it, children? Okay. Well, another topic that we're going to discuss is, children, difference between a suffix and a prefix. So, what is a suffix? You would have studied this last year, if you remember. Suffix is a letter or letters that are added at the end of a word to form a new word. Say some word is given and you're going to add, okay, add another letter or letters to to the end of that given word to form a new word okay and that is a suffix the suffix causes a spelling change to the original word so whatever the word is given by adding a letter one or two letter uh, at the end of it you are actually uh, what are you doing changing the spelling okay look at the word there quick you have added ly quickly or you You've added M E N T, it's becoming argument. Sad, sadness. Taste, tasty. So, suffix means any word that is given and you're adding a letter or few letters at the end of that particular given word to form a new word. That is your suffix. What is a prefix? A prefix is a letter or letters that are added to the beginning of a word to a form, 
to form a new word again a prefix changes the word meaning itself so example there is a word which is given and you are adding an, a, a letter or two before that given word which will actually uh, change the word meaning only you see lucky is the word given by adding u n before that lucky it is unlucky lucky is something a luck unlucky is something bad so what is it doing it's giving a, a, entirely a opposite meaning okay so a prefix changes the meaning of the word itself uh, it is a small uh, topic that i just wanted to tell you or show you the difference between suffix and prefix because we have um, uh, main on this in your workbook exercise so that is what I thought I will just uh, tell you what it is so uh, keep this in mind suffix means you are adding a, a letter or letters at the end of the given word whereas a prefix means you are adding a letter or letters before the given word so in the prefix when you add a word before the given word the word meaning only will change okay whereas in suffix when you are adding a word after the given word the spelling the uh, spelling changes uh, from the original word okay children okay children so in today's class we have discussed about your uh, other three adjectives which is your possessive adjective demonstrative adjective and interrogative adjectives and i've also taught you about the types of adjectives three types of adjectives positive comparative superlative degree yes Another thing that we discussed is difference between a suffix and a prefix. The next is your workbook exercise, children. Uh, I am going to send a PDF of your workbook exercise. Uh, half of the PDF exercise I've already, uh, half of the exercise PDF I've already sent. Uh, another half I'm going to send today. For your benefit, I'll send the full uh, lesson adjectives workbook exercise PDF. You all can take down in your workbook okay children another thing uh, with this i finished the class but before i could leave let me tell you uh, i hope all of you would have got your test portions in timetable yes uh, your english portions you have lesson wild duck and lesson starting point uh, i also uh, and you also have um, uh, nouns pronouns adjectives yes so wild duck is already done by jayanti ma'am yes children wild duck is already done by jayanti ma'am and lesson starting point we did in the online class i when i started initially in the first week of september i have done your lesson starting point and then nouns pronouns also was done by jayanti ma'am adjectives i have finished today so with this i complete your test portions yes so if you have any uh, uh, problem with the notes, if you haven't received the note, because the notes is also sent in the group. If any of you missed by chance your notes of these five lessons, you can always text me and I will send you the PDF. I'm repeating, wild duck is completed, starting point is completed, nouns is completed, pronouns is completed and today I finished the adjectives lesson. Okay, and I'll send you the notes also and it is already sent in the group okay i know you guys are also in the other group uh, which was originally formed so you can always uh, take down notes from there but still if you have any problem you can always text me and i'll, I'll help your children okay i hope you understood this lesson adjective if you have any doubt again you can text me feel free i will be I'll, I'll clarify your doubt okay well thank you children well once again thank you children and have a nice day bye well, once again, thank you, children.